All right. Very good. Good morning, folks. Uh, what a beautiful day out today. We're sitting here in Canton, Texas. I've got Alicia Conway with me. Uh, we're going to visit just a little bit. I think maybe we'll have some things that you might find exciting. Alicia? How's the how's the showing going? How's the heifer showing? And the, are you showing goats too, or just yeah, heifers? sheep, heifers, steers, everything pretty okay. much besides rabbits. All right. Oh, no rabbits. <laughs> no rabbits. No rabbits. <laughs> okay. All right. Been winning. They've been doing really good. They've been winning some. Yes. It's about to wrap up, isn't it? Houston's kind of coming to an end here pretty quick. True. But then we have county fair coming up and. They like to show throughout the summer, so the major season's coming to an end, yes. All right, very good, very good. Well, you know, we are so happy to have you with the, in the H5 family, United Country H5 Auction and Realty. Uh, how long ago did you join? It seems like it's been years now, but it's I don't think it. it's been that long. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like it, though. Um, I joined, I think, the 1st of March of 2021, so it's been a little over a year now. Oh, wow, awesome. Mm -hmm. already, already completed the first year. Yes. So, why, what brought you into real estate? Why did you, where did you come from? Why did you want to get into real estate? I came from nursing. That's all I'd ever done for 20, now it's 21 years. Um, I had changed and I've always um, followed the real estate market, um, always liked the ins and the outs of it. Um, I needed a change. I needed more time for my family um, because they weren't getting any of my time yeah. at all. Yeah. So it just seemed like it was a good fit. Okay. All right. Why did you choose H5 Auction and Realty? Well, um, I felt like it chose me. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, it has a lot to um, offer that other companies do not. Um, I didn't really want to go um, with anyone that was local. I didn't want to be the big fish in the little pond. I wanted to be the little fish in the big pond. And I feel like United Country gave, you know, gave me that. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's a very family oriented office and just company. So. That's yeah. where it won me over. That, that is awesome. I love the family uh, feel of, of United Country yes. in general. You never meet a stranger, even when mm. you're at the convention. No. Everybody's part of the same family. And they all, it doesn't matter if they're the number one yeah. office in the nation right. or they just bought a franchise <laughs> yesterday or they just joined a franchise yesterday. They're all, on, everybody's all on the same family. level. Yes. And they, they love each other. In fact, uh, uh, we just got back from a convention, didn't we? We did. And you got to sit at the uh, table with the number, the two, number, office. number two office <laughs> in the nation. That was pretty yes. impressive. But yeah. what? Uh, tell me a little about your experience at the at the Miramar Beach last week at the convention. Well, I loved it. Did you? I did. Um, even though you were there, and I mean, you're at a convention. Me you personally, just even going... though I was there. Because that sounded like if you hadn't been there, we'd have had a lot more fun. No, 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 no. Um, no, no, no. It just seems like even though it was a convention and there were hundreds of people, um, you still had plenty of time to take in the scenes. You had plenty of time to do what you were there to do. Um, and even though it was work, it really wasn't work. Yeah. I think that's the best part about it. Yeah. So. What, what was your what was the favorite what was your favorite part of the deal? Too? My favorite or part maybe of the a deal. Couple of parts or whatever. Um, I like the late morning show. I guess is what we'll call it. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very interesting. Um, I like the take. I like how they questioned. You know, brought everyone out. Um, to be honest, my favorite part was Don Bell coming out. Mm -hmm. um, he seems like he's very humble. Mm -hmm. um, he has a lot to brag on, but he just he didn't go that route. He does. He was very right. stick to the facts. You know, and yeah. and I like that. And, but that and, just goes to prove what H, uh, well, H5 is about that, but United Country in general is about yeah, the same thing. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, Don Bell is the agent that, or the broker that owns the office in Weatherford. Uh, I was fortunate to be the one to get to sell him that office because I had it at one time. And Don Bell just uh, caught a huge whale. He uh, had the buyer on the Four Sixes Ranch for an undisclosed amount of money, but it was uh, in excess of $300 million sale. So <clears throat> phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity. And like Alicia said, very, very humble man. And uh, he, he was he was just happy to be able to yes. do that. And, yes. and uh, anyway, so uh, 
Do you think, was it, was it a wise decision to go to the convention? It was, even with the tunnels and the bridges, I think it was a very wise decision to go. <laughs> <laughs> we will, I, won't, I won't embarrass you yeah. in front of the whole world. Well, anyone right? watching this and knows me, they'll know. <laughs> so if it's one of those, if you know, you know. If you don't, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> was it... Uh, the, the, was, you, was it a wise decision to go to a convention, you think? Yes. So that was your first convention. It was my right? very first convention. Um, I've been to United Power, um, and I feel like convention is um, just as great as that. Oh, awesome. So, very I good. liked it. It very was time good. well spent. All right, very good. Um, what is, uh, you've been with us a year now. What's your biggest win? My biggest win? I don't know. What do you mean by that? Well, what's, what's something that you're really proud of that you've accomplished in the first year as a Oh, selling anything. Agent. Yeah. Having anybody come to ah, me to list okay. because when people see my name or they hear of my name, they automatically associate it with a nurse. Mm -hmm. Being in a small community, touch, the, all, the touching counties in our own county, that's all they know me as. Yeah. So being able to branch out and people kind of getting to know me more outside of that has been... Oh, yeah, for yeah. me. Awesome. So. Awesome. Very good. Hopefully it gets more and more so. Well, back to the convention. Would you uh, uh, would you recommend others attend the convention? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> I think it would be worth your time and effort. I do. Uh, I do. Okay, because we got another one coming up a year from now. I know. I'm yeah. already making plans. And it's going to be on the beach again at, uh, yes. where are we going? Gulf Shores, Alabama. Gulf Shores, Alabama. So it'll be, actually be about an hour closer, probably 10 bridges less. Yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> than getting all the way to Miramar Beach <laughs> for you. So uh, that, that is funny. Uh, you can ask Alicia about it sometime mm -hmm. if you want. I'm sure she'll yeah. share with you. Her, or Hunter, for that matter, because he would call and check on me. Her, you her, okay? <laughs> her fear of, of uh, bridges. So. Uh, have you been, well, you said you've been to United Power. Have you yes. been to any of the other United Power? No, I plan on going to regional this That's year. Good. I just haven't been to that one. Yeah. Regional training is an awesome opportunity. It's a one-day training. Uh, there's always always a training close. It looks like, I believe I looked the other day, there's going to be one in Dallas again this year. They had told me it was going to be in Waco, but uh, it looks like Dallas. Actually, I'm thinking about going to Macomb, Mississippi. Hmm. Number one office in the nation. You got hmm. to see those guys on stage, uh, Slave Priest and, and that crew. Such a nice, just like Don Bell, humble group of people. Uh, sell Don, uh, Slave Priest sold $58 million worth of real estate last year by himself. Hmm. Uh, but to, you would not you would know, never know that. That's right. Hmm. And uh, hmm. they have a. a, a uh, regional training down there and it's only five hours away so I'm actually thinking about maybe going down to hang out with those guys um, because to me all of these events that United Country puts together one of the most powerful things you get from it is the people that you get to network with and build relationships with so anyway Alicia you got a really good nugget you'd like to pass on to the other agents uh, act like every day is Monday morning Awesome. I like and get that. after it. I like that. Stay consistent. Um, you know, just stay, stay consistent and act like every every day is Monday morning. Very good. And get after it. All right. <laughs> good luck with the rest of the shows and with well, the summer you. run. And uh, we'll uh, look forward to great things that you're going to accomplish over the next 10 years in the real estate <laughs> world. All Alicia, right. thank, thank you, you for your time. Thank you. All right.